Hello everyone, it's PC Alpha here and in today's video I'll be showing you how to fix lagging and stuttering of the game, the lost oasis and how to increase its FPS. So this fix is not just specific to this game, it is a, I will show you general workarounds that will work for all the games. So let's get started. So the first workaround is clean booting your PC. It is recommended to clean boot your PC before performing any further operations or workarounds. So I have made a quick guide of only 2 minutes on how to clean boot your PC. It is a complete guide on this topic. So you can access that video by clicking on the upper right corner of your screen right now or you can access that video by clicking the description of this video. So that's it for the first step. Now the second step. It is the most important step of all. So in this we will be downloading a game booster. For those of you who don't know what a game booster is, a game booster is a software that puts maximum of your PC's RAM in running a particular game. So the game booster we will be downloading is Razer Cortex Game Booster. So just search on Google Razer Cortex Game Booster, right click on it and open this link in new tab. So you will be redirected to this page and click on download now and this will be downloaded and it's really easy to install. So once you have downloaded Razer Cortex Game Booster, uh, it's a bit complicated to set up this so I'm not putting it set up in this video because it will make the video too long to watch. So I've made a complete guide of 10 minutes on how to do advanced setup of Razer Cortex Game Booster. You can complete it in 2 minutes or 4 minutes by skipping it to the important parts only. And you can access that video too by clicking in the upper right corner of your screen or you can access that video from the link in the description of this video. But it is the most important step so please do watch that video and you will see a significant difference in the performance of your game. So that was the most important step and the second workaround. Now let's come to the third one. Now again let's come to an important step. So the third workaround is reducing runtime services. Just search for services in your search bar and go to this services app. Wait for it to load. It might take few minutes depending on your PC. So it's loaded. So here scroll down to X. Oh my bad. Here scroll down to the N and you will find Xbox accessory management services and four of the Xbox services. Just right click on the first one, go to its properties and here I have disabled it already but by default it is on automatic. So just disable it and click on apply and click on ok. Again do the same with this one, go to its properties, disable it, I have already disabled it. By default it is on automatic, disable it, click on apply and ok. And for these of the two services also do the same. So for these four services disable it. Now search for F facts so there is no new use of facts so you have to disable this too as you can see go to properties and again disable it i've already disabled it so these are the few unneeded uh, unwanted services that run in the background and one thing more you can do is that i'll show you in this workaround only go to task manager by right clicking on the taskbar now here go to startup here in startup Disable the app that you don't want on startup of your PC. So disable maximum of your apps. So I've disabled uTorrent. I've disabled Adobe Creative Cloud. The only apps I've enabled is Google Chrome. So I'll disable it too. I've also enabled Realtek HD Audio Manager because it is important. And the only app except it is Realtek Audio Manager. Only Realtek Audio Manager services and apps are enabled on startup. Rest all of the apps are disabled. So disable maximum of your apps on startup like I have done and that's it for this step. Now let's come to the fourth step. In this step we will be changing PC's configuration. So you can access your system configuration by either searching for run and here typing msconfig that is msconfig or you and press enter and you can access this or you can just simply search for msconfig here and go to system configuration. There are two ways to do it. In here go to boot, in general have a look at the settings I have selected, select a startup, load system services and load startup items. Now in boot, by default it is 30 seconds, just change it to 3 seconds and now in no geo here change it to no GUI boot. And now go to services and here in services hide all Microsoft services and look for services that you don't want to that you don't want running in background. So I'll disable Adobe Update Service, Adobe Genuine Monitor Service, and Adobe all the Adobe services, and here Google Chrome services, 
Google Update Services and here Razer INC RZKAL Services Team Viewer Steam client service if you are not running the game through Steam but if you are using Steam then turn it on and I think that's it these are all the unwanted services that were running in the background and as of startup I've already told you in the previous step on how to disable startup apps and in tools there's nothing to change in it then just apply these settings and proceed to the next step now let's come to the fifth workaround and in this one we'll be deleting temporary files so temporary files, deleting temporary files will give an instant boot to your PC's performance but not a permanent boost. So just search for run and here type temp temp that stands for temporary and if there's any file present here just control press control here that is select them all and delete them all. I've already deleted them. Now again go to run and here type percentage sign temp again and percentage sign and press ok. Let's select all the files and delete them permanently. If you're not deleting them permanently, then after deleting, just delete them from the recycle bin. And skip the items that are not being deleted. There are some items that are that are being used by a computer in running the softwares and apps that are running right now on your PC. So those all those temporary files won't be deleted. Now go to your PC and here go to your C drive. Here goes go to windows where is it here it is and here search for prefetch p r e f e t c h prefetch and continue and continue here select all the items and delete them permanently don't worry these are all temporary files and deleting them won't affect your pc at all so that's it for this step that is deleting temporary files now let's come to the last step now in the last step we'll be changing visual settings of a pc now just open anything and here in this PC right click on your computer and go to its properties and here go to advanced system settings and in advanced system settings under performance click on settings and here click by default it's on let's window choose what's best for your computer but here go to custom no just select adjust for best performance and it will disable all and here just select smooth edges of screen fonts and show thumbnails instead of icons and apply these settings and wait for them to load it will take few minutes or few seconds depending on your PC's configuration so once it's applied it will help your overall PC's performance not particularly your gaming performance but it will definitely help your PC manage RAM in a better way so it won't, it is not a step basically for game, increasing gaming performance but it will clear your PC's RAM so it will definitely help in increasing the gaming performance too. So that was the last step and that's it for this video. So if this works for you please hit the like button below and if you have any query related to this video please write in the comment section and also don't forget to subscribe for more.